Hello ladies, it's Sweet Fit Tea. Checking in, it's Sunday, and I just did some grocery shopping at Sprouts. Yep. <laughs> I parked far away. But I mean, this parking lot's like so... <laughs> like, it doesn't matter. I'm still parked to, next to a bunch of people. Um, but I just kind of wanted to share um, some of my things that I bought. Um, I, uh, there's stuff that I can get here in bulk that I like. Um, hold on one second. Okay, so um, some of the things are like almonds, quinoa, I can get bulk. Um, I mean, I got a ton of crap. Really cool stuff. Some artichokes. I got some purple sweet potatoes, which I haven't tried yet, but I mean, it's like a good variety. Something good. I'm sure it tastes like a sweet potato. I, um, I also got like eggs and um, Ezekiel bread, and then they have these Ezekiel like small little tortillas, which, you know, you can make fajitas, you can make um, uh, tacos, you can do anything with that. And also these Harvest Snaps, they're um, green pea crisps, so good. Like one gram of sugar, I mean, 120 calories for about 22 pieces, which is pretty good deal, you know? Got some apples, got some, oh, I got an eggplant because we're going to have salmon tonight. Um, and, um, you know, I buy the kids like this honey nut toasted oats, you know, um, because, you know, even though I'm sure it's like not like organic or whatever, um, I mean, it says it is, but it's still processed. You know, I'd rather them have a little bit of something like that. So, um, I'm going to run over to Trader Joe's and, um, I'm going to continue my little day of shopping. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm on my way to Trader Joe's. Um, and, uh, there's just a few things I have to get there that I didn't get here. Like, um, just some juice. They're the only place I know to get pineapple juice. Um, just straight up, like orange juice, just straight up pineapple juice. Um, so I, uh, I just thought it'd be kind of cool since I want to do more like nutrition and um, uh, things like that. So I will go to three different stores if I have to, um, to get, uh, what I need. So, um, yeah, so I, um, uh, so there were things like bananas I didn't get. Um, I didn't get like broccoli. Um, I didn't get, um, I wanted to get some dates because I've seen some recipes with dates, but it's like I don't want to get it, and then, like, I don't make the recipes, and I just, like, have these dates, but I know where to get them. I found them. Um, I need, I did, they didn't have, like, broccoli slaw at Sprouts. Weird, right? So I got to get some broccoli slaw. Um, and, um, mushrooms are cheaper at Trader Joe's. Um. I also wanted to get some goat cheese and some turkey. Um, some turkey, like, sandwich meat. Stay tuned. All right, so I just realized I have to X-Nay on Trader Joe's. <laughs> and I have to go over to the Walmart. Um, because we desperately need toilet paper and we are having company tonight. Our company is grandma, so we, um, don't want to run out of toilet paper when I have company. So I'm just going to grab the toilet paper and, uh, there's a couple of things I need from there. Like, um, like my tummy tightener tucker spanks thing that I wear like every day. I need a small. 
Um, I've been wearing a medium now. Um, I think over the summer maybe I bought this. But I need one for dresses because I wear tons of skirts, tons of dresses, and I have one that's just a shirt. It's like a, you know, just your shirt, but, um, so I need to get one of those. Um, but anyways, cardio is on my list for today. And, um, I pulled out my 15 pound kettlebells the other day, um, for a 50 minute cardio, like 50 minutes guys, what? So today I think I'm going to pull out my combat and I'm just going to do a 20 minute high intensity interval training, which I mean, you think you're going to die. You think you're going to die, you want to die. <laughs> You're just like, oh my God, I'm going to die. So, um, I've got that. So I'm a little bit up on the scale, which yesterday kind of freaked me out a little bit, but I, like I said, I've been, you know, noticing, I've been reading and like thinking about, or not thinking about, but reading about, um, your muscles retaining water and, um, all these things going on. And so... So I just am thinking, you know, okay, so I just got to uh, really just clean up on everything and quit um, uh, going for the easy, you know, like um, I went out to eat yesterday, twice, you know, things like that. So, um, you know, but whatever, I, I, I'm allowed this leeway and I give myself totally did not get a light. That was weird. I hope this light is not broken. That would bite. Um, anyways, so that was my motivation for getting up this morning and going and like, doing all of these errands. And, um, Nutrition is 80% of all of this, you guys. 80% all of this is what we eat. You know, your your health is made in the kitchen. I know that I can clean it up and this time next week I'll be 10 pounds lighter. Because I haven't been eating bad and I haven't been eating over 3,500 calories. So I know a lot of this is probably new muscle growth. Um, I am in my cutting phase, but I'm not, I didn't follow the no carb <laughs> cutting phase rule. And I've still been kind of just eating normal, which that's a bulky phase thing. And I am in my I just, and today ends my third week. Tomorrow starts my fourth week of phase three. And I haven't cut for shit. And I know why. Um, but the cool thing about it is, like, I'm not mentally effed up from all of this. Like, this isn't, like, mentally, you know, um, gonna, like, bring me down and make me binge. And, you know, I haven't binged. And I'm not a binge eater. I'm addicted to food. I have an addiction to food. And um, I got to play that line very carefully. Um, because those of us that have food addictions, problems, um, you know, it's, it's not as easy as, oh, I'm never going to smoke a cigarette again. I'm never going to pick up, you know, that needle again have to eat, you know, so I'm, this is, I'm, this is not mentally for me, I'm so in the game right now, I'm feeling so strong, and, um, I just can't let myself get lackadaisious about the whole thing, you know, like, I've got to just, you know, I've got all the tools I need, I've got my containers, you know, I just got to prep. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to prep. And um, I am going to flip 
and get this under control. And this last week, I mean, I can stay in my cutting phase for a couple more weeks. I can do at least, I could even do another four weeks of cutting um, if, I, if I want to, you know, get that extra in. But I'm just going to go for it this week. This next seven days, I am just going to hit my nutrition hard. Just get at it like I have been uh, my working out. So, um, I've gotten so many compliments today on my dress and just people talking to me like, hi, this lady was like, are you having a good day? What is your plans for today? Like just out of the blue, random. And I look like crap, you guys. Like I look like total crap. I didn't even wash my face yet. <laughs> and I haven't got my workout in. But that number on the scale freaking tripped me out. dress on it looks amazing it's not as tight as it has been and um I, I am nowhere near what that scale says nowhere near it I am just not um that's just not the case that number is just not a real number at this point um so So, um, you know, speaking in the words of wisdom of my sister, Melissa, just going to freaking throw this damn scale out. doesn't mean anything. Absolutely not. I'm not mad at the number. I'm not mad at um, the fact that, you know, I saw this number. Who freaking cares? I've got it under control. I've got my arsenal in the back, and um, I'm ready to roll this week. So I hope everybody's having a happy Sunday. Ciao.